Hello Giblets, I know I promised you guys a, a hotkey rundown in my last video and I lied to you, I didn't actually give you one, so I'm going to be going over hotkeys real fast in this game. A quick disclaimer, these are hotkeys that I have found to work best for me. They were uncomfortable at first, but with repetition they have become quite comfortable and I've been very successful with them, so uh, if these don't work out with you, just find what works best for you. So uh, it does vary from person to person, so let's get started here. Uh, after my initial split, I will hotkey my hatchery to 4 and my overlord to 2. So 4 and 2 are really all I'm jumping in, jumping between uh, in the early game. Just if you want to make any quick overlord movements or a macro up. So pretty simple. Next, when you have roaches and lings, I will usually hotkey them on the same hotkey. Just as hotkey 1. So you've got 1, scouting overlord, 1, hatchery, you know. Pretty simple to jump back and forth. Uh, if you're going to do some intensive my, uh, macro, you might want to do like 1 and 2, something like that. Now add infestors into the mix with a force like this. I will keep them both at 1 and infestors will be 2. So 1, 2. You always want to keep casters different. It's, it's You can tap through them, yeah, but it's, it's a lot more difficult. Alright, so now mass amounts of roach and hydras. This is a very common army you'll see. I won't just do like roaches 1 and hydras 2 because uh, that causes them to bunch up quite a bit when you want to get a nice spread. So what I'll actually do is I'll get uh, like half the roaches and half the hydras as one, and then the other half as two, so I can kind of get like, instead of having them all clumped up here, I can spread them out a little bit better and assault an enemy force with like a, you know, like a spread out force, so there's a better concave, I guess you could say. So uh, I like to split those up into two groups. And if you have infestors in the mix, just make the infestors three. So one, two, three. So you can kind of get a nice little surround. Next, zerglings and banelings is a pretty common army. Just uh, pretty simple. One for zerglings, two for banelings. You always want to run your zerglings in. Uh, well, depending on what you're fighting, you sometimes want to run your banelings in first, sometimes your zerglings. But I uh, always want to keep them separate. Alright, uh, Mutas, Zerglings, Banelings, and Infestors. So with this amount of units, I like to put my Mutas and my Zerglings on the same hotkey. A lot of times, uh, you know, they're going to be attacking the same thing. If you have this heavy army, usually the Mutas won't be needing to do any kind of special micro. Maybe against a Thor or Psystorm or something. But uh, for the most part, this has been pretty successful. Banelings on 2. So 1, 2. Infestors on 3 for any kind of uh, casting. And of course, you always want the banelings to be alone because you're going to micro them uh, extra special. Extra special. And most important to keep in mind uh, is the queen hotkeys. First of all, I like to put all my hatcheries on four. So uh, no matter how many hatcheries I have, I'm going to put them all on four so I can quickly select all rally points for all of them on minerals or wherever. And for each hatchery... I will place, uh, I will use the number 5 hotkey and higher, so hotkey my queen and hatchery number 1 to 5, hotkey my queen and hatchery number 2 to 6, queen for hatchery number 7, or uh, number 3 to hotkey 7, and hotkey 8. And you'll very rarely get more than just like 4 hatcheries with 4 queens, yeah you'll, you might have more expansions but usually not too many queens on them. So uh, what this allows me to do, first of all, is I can macro on all hatcheries while I'm fighting. So telling my guys to go, they're fighting, 4, S, D, 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 get lots of drones. And uh, also it allows you to inject very fast. Notice I inject all four hatcheries in that short amount of time. Uh, once they pop, I'll kind of do it a little bit slower for you. But uh, let's just simulate, you know, attacking... Four, drone, 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 one, go back to my units, two, well I've got these guys selected but uh, you get the idea. So four for all my hatcheries, five, six, seven, eight, and if sometimes you want to just produce off a single hatchery, you don't want to have them all four selected, you can just hit five and then tab and that'll select the hatchery, it'll switch back and forth. So let's go over my larva injecting real fast here. So what I'm doing is I'm doing five, five, V, click. 6-6, six, six, V click, 7-7, seven, seven, V click, 8-8, eight, eight, V click, and then 1-1 one, one goes back to your units. And you can do that in literally one second. And that's how I keep my macro up. 
And after that, you know, you always want to keep on your hatcheries, build overlords or drones or whatever you want. And that's pretty much it. Use what's best for you. But this is what works best for me. So if you're kind of a noob and you don't really hotkey that much or you don't know what, even where to start on what hotkeys to use, this is a nice video for you. So, uh, yeah, just go over this video one more time if you don't really uh, understand what I was saying. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Forgot to mention one thing. Uh, selecting the queens individually and injecting like that is the way I do it. It is the fastest way to do it, in my opinion, um, but it's not the easiest. If you want an easy way to do it, you can always use the minimap. Hotkey all your queens together. Press V, click, V, click, V, click, V, click. Um, on this map, because it is so sl so small, the hatchery, you know, square down there is very large and so it's a little bit easier but on bigger maps it's going to be very difficult to do um, it is a nice noob friendly way just hockey all your queens at once and click on the little mini map but if you want to go for speed you have to hockey each queen individually in my opinion so there's that way too if you guys want to go with that but uh just wanted to add that in there